So for all of you who love food and sports, we've got something for you today. Mm -hmm. uh, the creativity that some people have is incredibly amazing to me. Uh, you look online and see what the people can come up with. Um, and what we're gonna do today is called a sports stadium. We're gonna play with our food and make it look like a stadium. That's fun. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> we got some good looking food too. Yeah, it's so colorful mm -hmm. and healthy for the most part. So, <laughs> <laughs> Debbie is probably the only person who has the patience for this. Like, we're gonna do a really basic one, but if you look online, the creativity and the t time that people take to put into this, mm -hmm. it's, it's a, I wish I could be like that, or I wish I knew someone who liked to do that and would invite me over, but anyway. <clears throat> so there's different ways you can do it. Um, you could take, we ended up getting these, these little things to go in here. So you put things in here and this this will be your um, field. Thank you. And then these this will be, the outside will be what? The Where people the, maybe. The Is spectators. The people? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. <clears throat> so I think we start with the middle. Here, Debbie, why don't you help with this? I don't know. Girl, I don't know. She's going to clean up after me. Well, yeah, well. Okay. Okay, okay so. So the middle is We the... decided to put salsa, guacamole, and spinach artichoke dip in. I guess we could each take one and put it yeah. in. Yeah. Might that. be easier to take it out and then put it in, you think? Probably. Mm, might be. Okay. So put guacamole in. Yes. Okay. This could be for, like, good for tailgating and... All kinds of stuff, right? It's all in one container, too, if you think about it. You don't have a bunch of containers everywhere. Yeah. Yes. For any game day. You know, it's perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Okay, I'll take that. That's when you're engaged in your uh, one of your husband's fun it's, things that he likes to do. It may not be our fun thing that uh, we enjoy, but it's like saying that we're engaged in the process. Mm -hmm. I know some people food. who are absolutely, let's put it in, that way, because I got some on these sides. What? What is she saying? Okay, here's the thing. We're, we're cooking more, but we're gonna just go with this for now. Okay. What? Do, what are you saying here? Let me see it. Yeah. Let's turn it this way, for the camera's sake. She she likes to make everything look good. <laughs> okay. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That in there. And then the guac. So that was the easy part. As yeah. Far as, okay. Now. Debbie. So now we build it up. <laughs> now we build around it, and I guess we have to make sure we don't build it so high that it falls into the dip. Okay. Okay. So. And you can use a, um, a pan that's not as deep if you choose to, you right? You can, okay. and we also have foil that we can put underneath. Well, let's see what happens if it gets lost in here. We're gonna let Debbie's creativity uh -oh. come to. Let's see. So these people are all wearing yellow and red. <laughs> these are the people, right? <laughs> their team is red, their team colors are yellow and red. And they're sporting it today. Boom. I have a girlfriend. Oh. She dresses out for every sports Does game she? that she watches. Mm -hmm. Oh, these people are standing on their feet. They just somebody just really <laughs> hit a home run, or maybe you can put some on the, like that, and then some like this. Yeah, I think we. I have an idea. Could have used those green. foil, the foil maybe. So okay. I like the carrot. I mean the uh, celery. That that works well. Yeah. It's just that when they start digging in it, we may need to lift it up a little bit. You think? You think so? We'll put them down like that, and now it. we can do this. Yeah, we'll see. Just then we'll let the uh, uh, the other stand ones them up. There you go. That's true. That's we'll a good. Put them on, a, on there. See, I'm so. sure most of you can have more talent than this and patience. But <laughs> <clears throat> okay. What else? Well, we on? do. This is pretty painful and torturous for these people people to have to watch. Um, should we finish it and then uh, let them watch a video, a nice video of your daughter <laughs> doing egg rolls instead of this mess? That'll buy us some time. <laughs> How about that? We'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to the kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you how to make homemade egg rolls. So we already got stuff going on the stove, so let me go ahead and show you there. We went, or I went ahead and got some pork all browned up. You can do uh, beef if you would like, but I just have ground pork in here, okay? So this is all cooked. So what we do is we're gonna shred the cabbage. If you're making some, shred the cabbage. Shred the carrots. You're gonna need cabbage, carrots, salt and pepper, and a little bit of bacon grease, okay? You can use any kind of oil you would like if you don't like bacon grease and it's totally okay. 
Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started, okay? I'm gonna say I'll put about two spoons just because you want the cabbage to get kind of soaked nice and juicy. Let's go ahead and stir this. All right, I got it all in there, and I'm gonna pour a little bit of my cabbage. All right. That'll work. I'm gonna pour my carrots in right away. Just enough to bring it some color and add to it. All right, mix it up real good. You wanna bring that pork up to the top. You wanna get the cabbage all good and cooked. All right, it's looking good. Okay, so a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Always remember, don't over salt stuff, so try it as you go, okay? You may wanna start out with like a half a teaspoon of salt if you're really into measuring. Um, but always taste it as you go because you never know if your pork was real salted or whatever, you, um, whatever you're choosing to use. Now, if you're going to do this vegetarian style, I would recommend using olive oil. You can put a little bit of garlic salt, salt and pepper. You don't have to have the meat. The main thing is, is soak in the cabbage, getting the oils in there, and letting it kind of just marinate. All right. So now that we have this all cooked, you, you wanna, I'm gonna go ahead and let it simmer a little bit. Give it a little bit of time. Let me put a little bit of pepper in here. We don't want it too hot, but just enough to spice it up, you know? Just enough for flavor. Just sprinkle it on there. All right. Stir this all up. It's already looking real good. The cabbage is getting real shiny and nice. Now, let me tell you the reason why I started doing this is um, I have a real issue with MSG, and um, a lot of times it's hard to find food like this without MSG. And so I thought, you know, instead of not being able to experience all these nice foods, why not try to make some of my own? So that's exactly what I did. And so this is just straight cabbage, straight carrots. There's no preservatives, nothing like that. So it's, it's a lot better for you. And when you have a lot of preservatives in your food, um, what tends to happen is your body don't digest it properly. So it's not good for us anyway. All right, so I'm gonna just let this simmer here. Let it soak in. Now, what I, a long time ago, this sweet Vietnamese lady told me, she said, always soak the inside, or always uh, put your mix, the cabbage mix, in the refrigerator overnight. Let it set for 24 hours. And the reason why is because cabbage has a lot of moisture in it, and after this gets done simmering, you're gonna start noticing the cabbage is still wet. So whenever you put it in the refrigerator, it allows it to soak in, the flavors to just really get in that cabbage and carrot mix and so that's what I did and so now I'm going to show you how we roll it out okay so I have a little cup of water here that I'm going to need and just watch carefully so all I have right here this is just egg roll dough it's really nice and thin so I'm just going to place some out here and show you how I roll them out at home these are something that you can all, you think, well, I don't wanna go through this much trouble while you know making supper. Well, this is something that you can do and always save it for later. Um, some, if you like to blanch them, you can after they're done. If you don't wanna do that, all you have to do is put them in as they are, roll them up, and then you can put them in the freezer or something. And then once you have them out, you can go ahead and fry them up. Now, if you're not, you know, if you're thinking, gosh, that's fried foods, that's not real good, they do have air fryers now. And that only requires a few um, tablespoons or something of oil from what I'm, 
from what I understand. I personally don't have one, but um, there are other options, or you can always bake, you know? There's, there's so many other options. All right, so I'm just putting a spoonful of my mix. Again, this mix has been setting 24 hours overnight. So it's all nice, and, and you see it's not real watery. I tell you if, you, if you want to do it like this, once it's still on the stove, you can, but what ends up happening is so frustrating. The dough ends up getting wet, and there begins, or holes start forming into your dough, and then you have to use more dough, and it just, it's kind of just a big mess, to be honest with you. And, and that's the last thing you want is when you're frying something and for the grease to actually get inside what you're frying because then it is really greasy and that's, it's not what you really want. So you want to dip your finger in water and rub the outside of the dough with the water. Okay, this helps it to fold and stick, otherwise it won't. So I'm just folding it like this first. I'm gonna fold my corners in. You see how it kind of sticks together like that? I'm rolling it all the way. All right, so there's one done. Now I want, I want you to see this right here. See how that will uh, just kind of stick out? If you don't soak it with water and put it down like that, when you put it in the fryer, what happens is that little piece will fly up and then it'll just, you know, kind of unravel your egg roll a little bit. All right. All right. Let me move my pan out of the way here. Are you ready? It's gonna be loud. It's gonna sizzle good. So I'm just pinching some of the open corners here. Woo! Ready? Here we go. Here we go. And some, you know, don't, don't, you know, you can put tongs. You don't wanna burn your fingers. But I just always tend to just do things sporadically. Look how pretty those are. You want them to get nice and golden brown. I'm just letting them cook there. Get your, always have your paper towel and your plate ready. All right, the grease was nice and warm. We're ready to plate. See how fast that was? You wanna get them out quick because you don't want them to get burnt. This oil was ready, I'm telling you. All right. There we go. All right, here's the homemade egg rolls. Don't forget, go to tct.tv for recipes and more. We'll see you next time. How do those taste, Debbie? <laughs> <laughs> They're delicious, but you can tell the look on her face that she realized it was a little, little too brown. So when they're burned, they're not, they're not as good. <laughs> I've never had them burn, you know, darker burn like that, but they're delicious inside. You just gotta, you just gotta watch uh, that but fire. Kathy, but, she was just like, they're, they can fry them in bacon? Grease? It wasn't like, bacon grease. It was wasn't? It? No, it was just oil. Just, just oil. Did you oh. say bacon grease? No, it had bacon grease on the screen, so I was wondering. Maybe that goes in We a were working, bit. so I didn't get to see what the bacon grease was used for. I, I think just, because that was a lot was of oil. That'd be, a, that'd be a, <laughs> working for Jesus. <laughs> that'd be like a, a pig worth of bacon. I mean, because it was a real tall. You mean with the oil she actually cooked I it I think in? it was just vegetable oil. Yeah. Or Western oil. It was oil too clear for bacon yeah. grease. Mm -hmm.
She may put a little bacon what, grease okay, next inside. Uh, we'll we need to watch it next time. time. It was pay, too pay clear attention. for bacon grease. But wait, look, it, it turned out really cute. I think, I think so. Did. I like yeah. it. It yeah. did turn out should well. We, should we lift it? Oh, you got it. Okay. Oh, I that like it that it's just one that unit. Great. One you can pan. pick it up and take it. Yeah. yeah. Looks good. It's a diverse community. Yeah, that's it right. Is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, just something else that we put out is you know. People like meat, they're a little beef jerky and mm -hmm. just put, put some in there. But I like it that's individually wrapped mm -hmm. so you don't have to have all your, you could put it in there, but you know, you have to have your hands all over it. Just, yeah, you know. no, it looks good. Yeah, at least you could, you could always rinse off vegetables if you had to, mm -hmm. right? Anyway, and then we got these cute little cupcake tins. They're cute. Like a football and Aww, we put snack mix cute. in them. Yep. That way you don't have your hands, everybody's hands all right. up in there. Yes. And you can just throw yes. it, everything away idea. when you're done with yeah. your yep. party. Mm -hmm. Right. Throw it away. So we do have one more recipe for you, but um, we're going to have to get this off and put it on, and it's going to be a um, fruit, fruit pizza. pizza. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Fruit <laughs> pizza. All right. So we, we do have another... Um, video of Bethany and this is a fantastic idea. She's so smart. You raised her. She is. She's smart like mom. Mm, can't take and pretty like mom. Here but this are. is <laughs> the, an easy way to make and bring corn on the cob. So okay. let's watch and then we'll come back and do sugar, sugar cookies. Hey Bethany here in the kitchen. We're going to show you how to make cooler corn today. So have you ever been um, at work or something and you get this phone call and they say, hey, can you please make something for the picnic tonight or the party tonight? And you think, I don't have time to cook. So this is something really simple and easy that you can do that takes very minimal preparation. Okay, so I just have a clean cooler here. I'm gonna open it up. And once you've washed your corn, just take corn and just place it down in there. So I'm just gonna place this corn. It's already washed and clean, ready to go. This is something simple you can do that doesn't require hardly any time. So the seasonings I have here, I have a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Just gonna spice it up just a little bit and you can put whatever seasoning you like. If you just prefer salt and pepper, that's just fine. It's a little bit of salt here. To season it real good, a little bit of pepper. So now I have my boiling water. So what you'll do is you'll just take a pot of water and you'll let it boil. Once it's reached a boil, we'll shut this burner off here. Take the lid off. And now what I'm gonna just pour this hot water on this corn. doesn't hurt the cooler and so what this does is it actually cooks in the cooler so you place this in the cooler for about an hour two hours however long you need close it and guess what your corn is cooked and you can take the cooler with you and you've got your food for the picnic all right, I think we're ready to make fruit pizza. Wish us luck. So, <laughs> <laughs> Debbie's already been working on this. Okay, so you start with, you, you can make your own sugar cookie mix if you want. I like to take the easy way out and buy them pre-made. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can get them already in a sheet, but you just put them on there, you know, smush them down so it fills up the whole mm -hmm. like pan. A, yeah, mm -hmm. right, like a pizza. Yeah, pizza, of course. But it's sugar cookie. And Debbie is uh, now, now, how I do it, my mom did it, was we don't cook it all the way. We don't want it hard. We like yeah. chewy cookies or soft cookies. So you bring them out before they're not, before they're fully yeah, cooked. Fully fully and then you, they finish cooking on the, right. you do that too. Come back in. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So Debbie, our artist, our resident artist, is making this <laughs> look like a football. So let's finish it out here. If you have the talent, this is good. If you don't. Mine probably end up looking like a basketball or something. You could probably always um, take a shape, put it on there, you and could. cut it out. You sure well, we could. could. We could have done it ahead oh, of time, okay. but we didn't. Okay. So I mean, for we'll those who don't have Debbie's talent, yeah. right? Just take like, the like excess. a pattern. Or yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not the talent, but the tenacity. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Yeah, we got to make sure this tastes good. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Is it okay, Julie? No, no, no. I can't tell you. Let's try it again. No, but you're doing that. 
Looks like a football, Debbie. Yeah. Kathy is going to show you. Oh, this whipped is. Whipped cream cheese. Mm -hmm. I got the whip. And uh, marshmallow cream. And you mix it together, and that'll be your topping. Okay. Bachelor? Oh, good. <laughs> Hold on, let me find I'm worn out from getting this. Okay. Figure out here. That's going to come out without breaking it. We don't want to deflate our ball. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Ah, uh, maybe so. Oh, that's that may be even better. Yeah. There we go. It's going to work. Okay. You can just turn it over. Just slide it on there. Mm-hmm. Maybe put it in angle. That's nice. It's in flight. Okay. All righty. All right, I go. Okay, Kathy, you ready? Here we go. Patricia. All righty, I get the honors. <laughs> <laughs> now, we don't want to take it all the way to the edges, or do we? Probably not. All right, there you go. Then you can add your fruit. And you can do it at any kind of... Um, any kind of order? Yeah, I think if we want to make it look like a football, no. Maybe if we went around. Yeah. Just like this and then yeah. just come toward the middle with each yeah. fruit. Oh, that sounds pretty. That's a good idea. Okay, my hands are clean. I did wash them. So, so you can put any kind of fruit you want. Store it in. It's not what it wants to do here. You want to do pineapple, Kathy? I sure can. You can put it around the blueberries, you think? Yeah, that would be pretty. Can I recommend something? You could go online to see the pretty ways that people do this. <laughs> <laughs> but it, okay. looks, it looks... But before we run out of time, we have this vanilla that we're going to put... Um, what do you call those? Strings on? Yeah. That actually Beautiful. looks pretty. I think It so does too. look pretty. It's gorgeous. Oh, Very colorful. Green. And it's good for you. It's healthy. Yep. We don't use bananas, huh? Laces. Okay. Oh, we'll let Debbie do that because she's really talented. Mine will look like a crooked line. Put some more pineapples in. Okay. Oh, what are yeah, we going to do? We need a few more pineapples. Oh, you're making a football. Oh, how's it look uh -uh. again? I, I need to see a picture of a football. Let's we'll see. It's got a line straight here, here and then. Line and then. Here you go, Dad. Just one line. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank the Lord, it's done. <laughs> you better take me away from it, or won't you? did such a good job. Mm. All right, here it is. To perfection. It's pretty. It's very colorful. It's pretty fruity. And it doesn't have to be perfect. No, it doesn't. It's just fun, and it yeah. tastes good. Yeah. Yes. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great game day, tailgate day, any kind of day. Right. And uh, we'll see you next time.
Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below to get all of the latest content from TCT Ministries. We would love to pray alongside you for God's blessing in your life. So email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below to submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and we wanna thank you for watching.